Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today we are looking at Rapashi Grub Pie. So someone brought my attention to this because they wanted me to try it out. Now, I wasn't actually going to try this because for me, I would, as much as I don't like to feed live animals to my geckos, I feel that's the best way going forward with reptiles and if you have a problem with live insects then you probably shouldn't get a reptile that needs to eat them. So I wouldn't consider this as a staple diet, however I am kind of in need of it because Gizmo laid her fourth egg and she's dropped down to 38 grams. Now in her entire adult life she's never been that small, last time she weighed that amount she was under a year old. So obviously I'm very concerned. At the moment she looks 2D, like she's so skinny, she doesn't even look normal at all. So I thought to myself, well I could make up the slurry again. And although that did get her to gain three grams in a week, which doesn't sound a lot, but is a lot for a leopard gecko who's rapidly losing weight. The problem with the slurry is I found I wasted so much like, I had to freeze them in ice cubes so they'd last longer, but then I never ended up using the ice cubes. And, um, getting all the ingredients can be a little tough. So when I saw this, and I've heard that it can work with leopard geckos, it's a bit hit and miss, but it can work, I thought, okay, let's try this, because if it does work, this is going to be ideal. Now, it's not cheap. It was 9 99 so £10 for three ounces. <laughs> Um, but if it works, it's good. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be a little annoyed. But I do have two other females who currently aren't really eating too much or at all. So if it doesn't work with one gecko, maybe it'll work with another. But this is really just to get the appetite back. Once again, it's not going to be a staple diet. So in this video, I'm going to be trying it out. But first of all, we need to make it up. Now, unlike your crested gecko stuff, you don't just put this in here add some like cold water and mix it up. You actually have to boil the water first. So that's what I'm going to do with the kettle. So what I've done is put a teaspoon of the grub pie in here. It actually kind of looks like ground ginger, but trust me, it doesn't smell like that. The main ingredient seems to be sold black soldier fly larvae, which is calci worms. So it's a good insect to choose from. But now I'm going to add in the water. So you need two parts water, one part powder. So obviously one teaspoon is powder, so I need two teaspoons of hot water in here. I'm sure there's an easier way of measuring this out, but I think it says two or, where does it say, two to three parts water. So I'm gonna go for two and a half. And then it says stir immediately. So the instructions say let it cool or immediately pour into moulds. I don't have any moulds so I'm just going to leave it in there. That's why I didn't do too much of it because apparently it will set a room temperature and you can cut into pieces or strips whatever you want to do when feeding. But once it's made you need to sort of use it or store it really well. Now it does say you can leave it in the refrigerator for up to two weeks or you can freeze it but I have heard that it does smell terrible after a while so I don't want to leave it too long and that's why I didn't make up too much. Okay so the food set really quickly and I put it in the fridge just because I made it up earlier and then an hour and a half ago I took it out the fridge because you obviously want it to be at least room temperature. So you can cut into any size pieces that you like. I just sort of grabbed a bit here. I don't have any tweezers so I have to use- oh my god it's <laughs> it's mushing up in my hand. Okay if you could see what's going on off cam this is very messy. This does- oh my goodness- oh my god oh my gosh what is this? Uh, she's like gone crazy- oh my god <laughs> did you see that reaction? Wait wait I can't- she can't do that because I um okay <laughs> You're going to be a civilised gecko gizmo, you can eat from a spoon. Oh. My. God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, watch your mouth, you just bit the spoon. Okay, okay guys, you know what, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest with you, this gecko has not looked enthusiastic about eating anything. The only thing that she's sort of enthusiastic about is wax worms, which, you know, isn't surprising with a gecko, but this, I was sceptical about this. 
but she could smell that like you saw her reaction before i even got it near her oh my god okay don't hurt your mouth let's put that to the end oh oh god i flinched sorry you ever find yourself doing that like apologizing to the animals okay okay what we need to do what i'm going to do is put this in a bowl um it'll be easier for her to eat she is like stalking this she can't see because it it's off camera oh here she goes here she goes what is this gizmo what is this oh, ah <laughs> okay so i started to notice that gizmo is acting really strange with the light on maybe it's a light maybe it's a food i'm not really sure so i turned off the light what I noticed is after taking a few bites, she seemed to enjoy it, but then she started to wipe her mouth on things and then like the eco earth stuck to her mouth because obviously she must have some of this around her mouth a little bit. And she started to get a little bit skittish. So what I've decided to do is just leave some in this little dish. I'm going to leave it for a few hours. I'm not going to leave it overnight because I've heard it can smell kind of bad. And um, if it's really disturbing her, if the smell's really disturbing her, I don't want to leave it overnight. So it's been eight days since I initially fed Gizmo the grub pie. I have to say she only ate it about three or four times, three or four days. Um, it seems like progressively she started to like hate it. So on the first day as you saw she was crazy for it. Second day she was a bit, didn't eat quite as much. Third day it took some persuading. And then fourth day, definitely a lot more persuading. I think at that point she was just eating it out of annoyance. Like I kept putting it near her face and eventually she would like bite. Like because I don't know if she could smell it and it was, she thought it would be nice or she was just biting it to get it away from her. But the smell is definitely something that puts the geckos off because I actually tried it with all my other females. And they all did the thing where they smell it. You can tell because they'll smell it and they'll close their eyes and like cringe a bit and then they're back off. The only one that showed a little bit of interest was Minnie and she would like occasionally lick it, but really not as enthusiastic as Gizmo. And saying all of that, I did weigh her after her using it for three days. So I know that weight, I'll compare it to the weight we get today. And I had to say there was progress. As well as having a grub pie, she also had a few wax worms and some crickets. Now, the majority, I think she probably had between four or five crickets in total over the eight days. Which is definitely progress. But at first, she really needed persuading to eat the crickets. And then the other day, I put a cricket in front of her. I didn't think she was going to react and she just launched at it. So I thought that was really good. And then I put the vitamin powder on it. She didn't seem to bother with it. It's a new vitamin powder she's still getting used to. And then um, I left the two crickets in with her that was covered in powder. And the next day they were gone. So I assume she's eating them. Now I think she does look better. But that might just be because in my mind I know she's been eating a bit. But we shall weigh her. So I would say about two weeks ago I originally weighed her and she was 38 grams. And today, she's 45. So, if you remember, I said that I weighed her after three days of being on grub pie. She was 45 grams as well. So this is quite good because in the last few days, she really hasn't eaten pretty much anything. So it's good to see that she can actually hold on that weight. And going from 38 grams to 45 grams in three days is massive for a leopard gecko. And for that reason, I would definitely recommend Grub Pie. Now, it's kind of hit and miss because as I've seen with my other leopard geckos, it's not everyone's favourite. And an ideal situation is if you have a friend who owns reptiles as well, you could probably buy it between each other, like share on the price and share the product obviously. And that way, if it doesn't really work out for you, you haven't lost much money. I don't really have any friends that own reptiles, that's why I love doing this channel. So I pretty much have to buy it myself and just roll with it. So there's £10 which I think can be expensive but actually if you're in a very serious situation where your gecko is losing a lot of weight, maybe because it's laid <laughs> eggs or because it's recovering from an illness, 
And if you have multiple geckos you can try it out on, I think it is sort of worth the price. And comparing it to the slurry that I made, I definitely in future would use the grub pie over the slurry. Because with the slurry, you, you had to try to find all the ingredients which were all over the place. You did make a lot up, which a lot got wasted. I would definitely recommend grub pie. I wouldn't recommend it as a staple diet. I definitely think you should allow your gecko to tap into those basic instincts of hunting. And although you can move it and stuff, I just, I still feel like you should offer a variety of live food. But the grub pie is definitely a very good pick me up. And it's got her appetite back a bit. I'm still working on it. It's still not an ideal weight, obviously. We're gonna aim for 60 grams, so we've got another 15 to go. But yeah, overall, really liked grub pie. It, as I said, it progressively got kind of worse of her. She isn't totally fond of it. But you can just get them to lick it up a bit. You know how like licky, licky is that word? Licky like a leopard gecko is. They'll just lick everything, so you can kind of, get them to do that. I did also find that when I mixed it with less water they hated it more and I don't know if that's because the smell was stronger so I don't know you can practice mess around with it but yes I would definitely recommend it. Anyway thank you very much for watching guys and goodbye.